the fuck was that here? Wow, did everybody leave? Yeah, golden. No. Well, well, golden. Who's everybody? Well, there are the rest Where of us, Chop Liver. Everybody. No, I'm looking at the lobby and it's just only Riley and I. Oh, for golf. Mm. For golf. I backed out and because I, I just felt like sitting out and I don't know, did people just follow me out? With... I mean, I thought we were done for tonight. I mean, I can join I back in. I a break. <laughs> I oh, said that he was just dropping key off. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. saying. Okay. Yeah, that's why I'm still in the game. I'm just, yeah. Oh, let yeah. me get back in. Yeah, I'm just going to vibe. Vibe to an old classic. Um, I guess I could make like another night of doing like a golf stream. Just to pick mm. the levels we like. Oh wait, e. you know what we could play. What? What? Uno. <gasps> yes. Huh? What are we playing? Uh, Uno. I mean, Golden's up for it. I mean, maybe off stream. What are we oh, playing? Okay. I thought. It was... Oh. What was the offer? Uno. Uh, he was suggesting I would stream Uno. Thank you. Yeah, no, the the one with Vlad was the one to end it with a bang. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Also, if you want to do that? What was that, Aeon? Oh no, that one. I didn't think I said something. Oh, I thought you had. My apologies. No, no, you're good, love. Mm. Wait, I could go to industry. Fucking industry. Oh wait. Also, Aeon Courtney again is uh telling me. That she give that she wants me to give you a boop and a huggle. Ooh, thank you. So that's <laughs> me snugs in. Oh, thank you. Oh, it went to three seventy-five. Nice. Thank you, mm -hmm. whoever. Uh... Oh, Courtney did it. Thank you, Courtney. Options. Okay. No Courtney's good this. girl. Yeah. Courtney donated money oh in order to give Aeon a boop. Apparently. Also, yes. The <laughs> way Vlad ended it's Uno sweet. was absolutely hilarious. I you still. You're not helped the golden. I it's great. I still laugh my ass off at that. Motherfucker! God damn it! <laughs> I still love his response of like Misty, me fucking. Up. I wouldn't do this if I had any other option. Def me fuck. Def, do not fuck this up. No, no. Proceeds to fuck up. Thanks, moron. Why did <laughs> he change the color though? He changed the color right to the exact one he. Needed. I didn't know. Not well, you, the, uh, Vlad. It, it was Vlad's <laughs> fault for literally doing that. It's like, Def, Def, do not fuck this up. No. GTFO. <laughs> what is like? Get the fuck out. He thought you had a plus two or something. Oh, just get the fuck out. Yeah, I've heard good things about that game. It's like almost an Aliens ripoff with, uh, that you can play with people. Huh. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think what the hell do I want. Alright, I'm back. Hugs. Hugs. Yeah, those are nice. Yay! Apparently Don't uh, Hug Me, I'm Scared has a TV series. Mm. Oh god, no! Poor kids. Prop Hunt would be cool. Never played prop hunt. Mm. Mm. This is good. Would you consider another Jackbox games down the line? Maybe. It's a horror game that will cause you paranoia. Oh. Hmm. Let's see how much prop hunt is. I've tried playing Phasmophobia and I keep dying. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. dealing with yeah. point. Yeah. yeah. You're dealing with ghosts I mean, who is... are trying to capture you and as you're hunting capture as a paranormal investigator. Two. A prop tracks. hunt is thirteen dollars. I wanna play it in my on my VR headset. I want I wanna experience it. You don't want to traumatize yourself? Order. Have fun. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to cry like a little pussy. 
I, you don't understand. You enunciated that in a very uh, fascinating uh, way. Coming to... <laughs> okay. Right, there's a door. Guys, guys, guys hold on VR. a second. What yeah. kind of rip tracks are you guys suggesting? Huh? I'm what? reading the chat. Oh. Ah. There's a Rift Tracks game. That's what they mean. There's an actual game you can get for Rift Tracks. Okay, I didn't even know that was a game. I, all I remember is that Rift Tracks is a thing about, you know, talking about silly shit. Here and looking at movies and commentating yeah. on them. Yeah, it's basically yeah. an online Mr. Science Theater 3000. I mean, yeah, it, it's made by the people who did make Mystery Science Theater 3000. Case in point. Low, low key. I want to play that Hot Wheels Unleashed game. Dude, I want to mm. play that game too. I have it on my wish list. Like, earlier, like, I had to, like, hold my money back so that I wouldn't, like, go careless because I know that I had to save up for, uh, to, like, get the engine taken care of. It's, like, it's too late now, but it was at, like, a reduced, um, price of, like, $20 compared to 50 I was like, damn. That's good. I, yeah, no, I missed my chance on that. Golden, I'll buy it for you for Christmas and we can play. <laughs> oh. The two of us are just being children again. Yeah. There's like, there's like, because like whenever I'm like streaming games, I go for something that thematically matches with the highlight reel of it. So I played a couple of Jet games. I would just make that its own thing. Um, mm -hmm. What else do I have? Uh. I like starters of 3D games from its heyday. That's what I'm doing with Mario 64. Okay, did I get a DM? I got tagged. Yep, I got tagged. I got... Alright, let me take a look at this. Rift Tracks. Hey everyone, Mike Nelson. I'm pleased to announce that Rift Tracks has teamed up with the makers of What the Dub to bring you Rift Tracks the Game. A multiplayer party game that lets you riff with the best of it. I would love coffee over, thank you. Grab your friends and make fun of some of the worst cinematic abominations ever created. Featuring over 250 movie clips from Rift Tracks classics such as Roller Gator, Attack of the Super Monsters, and Plan 9 from Outer Space. Featuring two exciting ways to play. Oh god, people are very much talking about that episode. Uh, I don't know if this will cause any copyright issues. But uh, I looked at what Rift Tracks the game is, and they're literally showing footages of old movies. Yeah, those are uh, pretty much public domain films from the sound of it. And, I don't uh, think you have to worry too much about that, because those are public domain films. You can't I get believe uh, they, Yeah, I believe they do have a uh, mode for streamers. or I, I know that Watchful had been playing it at one point. Oh, that's funny. Hey. Um... I mean, I think that's why many people are able to watch movies like um, Mono's The Hands of Fate with no copyright issue. Oh. So your Twitch chat can play with you. Oh, that does sound like fun. Is it on Steam? Uh, Mono. yeah. It's on... I'll do a check real quick. Okay, cool. I got food. Now I can go back to... Uh... Food. Now I can go back to uh, shooting enemies. Oh, it's only 10 bucks. <laughs> Oh. Oh my god. No, no, don't do that. I'll I'll set this like there's a bunch of titles that I'm listening for what to stream next year. This is definitely one of them. Oh um, What are you saying next Michael year? Slept. I okay, keep forgetting how night. close that is. Yes, I know how close it is. Apparently Nicholas already copied the game. That did not take long at all. That's funny. It was uh, by the name of GDN. Dusky. I'm not sure yeah. if that's nickel or not. Yeah. That sounds like nickel. It, it, it's literally nickel. Oh, yeah. Tan Good boy. What is it called? Tam Tam? I think I had it on there before, and it seemed like a knockoff <gasps> of Pokemon. I Tim have... Tim! Ow. Sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> it's so cool. It yeah. is a Pokemon MMO. Okay, well, thank you, uh, Nickel, for the game. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Yes, of course, that's very nice of him. There's like... Oh, yeah, Freedom Planet 2 is finally out. I still have to try that out. I'm like... No shit, really? <laughs> Ow. No, I was... Oh, I was... Yeah. Ow? 
You meant you meant that in earnest, like as in like, oh, it really is. Like legit. Yes. Yeah, it came out. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh my fucking god, I want this. Wait, what came out? Freedom Planet Two. I have my wish list. I... Okay. I will bet on my next paycheck. Orange Cassidy interview. Oh, he's trying to post a gift to me. There we go. Now it's working. <laughs> um, I do remember this, and I will confess to this, and I do apologize to the chat, considering that people are helping me out. I was able to get uh, Metal Gear Rising, and it was on sale for like seven bucks. Oh, so you're going to play Metal Gear? Metal Gear Rising is an I an ideal game that I'm thinking about streaming sometime next year. Cool. It's a tricky game, but it's I, fun. Well, considering I, you I I, Sorry, I heard I heard that it's just a really good game. The uh like the thing I might remember the most is the Nano Machine scene. Nano Machines. Uh, I was I was just about to reference that. Nano Machines, my son. Another like good game that's coming out. Mm. Oh, <laughs> something that would have been funny for like future streams that would become its own highlight reel. A set of games that are just masochistically hard. So like, Ghosts and Goblins, Super Meat Boy. Um, what else was it called? Mm, I don't know about that one. <laughs> the Lost Levels. Oh God, I actually want to see you play the Lost Levels. I have beaten it a few times. Nice. Yeah, I have beaten it a few times. I do know for a fact... Courtney! <laughs> Thank you very what? much, but <laughs> Courtney got me free to Planet 2. Oh my oh. god, Courtney! <laughs> I... Okay, thank you very thank much for you, that, Courtney. guys. When I'm saying about these games that I want, I'm not asking you to like, hey, can you purchase it for me? I don't ever mean that. <laughs> well, that was too late. <laughs> See, we're not going to be mad about seven bucks. And year after year, you deserve to treat yourself. Yeah, I regret nothing. <laughs> well, that's a game I'm going to like check out and play around. Good girl. <laughs> that's another really good But yeah, no, like, I, I, chat, I just want to say for the record, I'm always grateful for whenever somebody gets me a game that's very cool of you. I don't ask for it. I put it on my wish list to remind myself that, yeah, these are games I plan on purchasing. Because I don't, like, I don't know, like, if you, like, add it to your cart... Like, maybe you want to get it later, but then you would have to, like, retrace and bring it back again or something like that. Witchless is just a very convenient place to, like, look around and see if, hey, you want to, like, maybe purchase this game at some point. But then it's just like, oh, I got you this game. It's like, oh, shit. A game I want to go back to is Wizard 101. I just know it won't, it won't like, age well. Oh! I... <laughs> Billiam has done, like, a review, has talked about it. He says it does have some good elements, but... Yeah, it just hasn't done. It just sort of has dipped in recent years. Apparently it still has a community, though, which is surprising. It does have a community, which is impressive. Because I did hear about the Moist Krugel thing where the employee got pissed, so he started, like, uh, changing the billboards and shit. Oh and my saying, like, God. the next world is my boss's asshole. <laughs> oh, okay. Also, Jedi Padawan, you don't have to get... You no, know, you don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to like get a game. It's it's, you're you're fine, dude. He says like if I would have the money, I would get old and Tem Tem. I'm like, that's nice of you, dude. Like last time I checked, the game was like thirty five dollars. It's fucking. Pricey. Oh, I think it's more. Oh God. Okay, yeah. Uh, I would urge you to like hold that money for something else than just. You know, Did you just say hold thy money. Hold thy money. money. Do you have Lego oh, bye, racers buddy. on your N64 emulator? No, I don't. Um, I might check that out. Did you ever play Sonic CD, Golden? No, but I've heard some mixed reviews of it. I just know I, uh, I got it for you last year. I was just gave you a beat it or not. Yeah, and I, I know you said you never played it. Yeah, um, I didn't really think too much about it. Um, I know that some people have... Uh, or somebody, maybe it was you. Uh, somebody got me Doom sixty four. Like I didn't even that was know. Me. Yeah, I didn't even know that was on Steam. I remember that Turok was on there. I was like, oh shit. 
Yeah, I got you both those games because they were on sale. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Um, Derek, yes, I have GoldenEye 007 uh, added to the Steam. Also, Golden, how about that two games? Uh, you're talking about the games I got recently from you and uh, 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 Courtney? I blew my train of thought. Uh, I do not have a train of thought. <laughs> I have I a have bucket. A I don't even have a train. I have a bucket. A bucket of thought? Bucket of thought, but it's leaking. You have I a jar of box. You need flex you have, seal. You have several boxes, my dude. I don't worry, I'll find out which one my head is in. Mm -hmm. for his you have a jar of dirt? I bought someone Pokemon Sword and both the expansion pack. Jesus! Jar of ash. I want the 90%. <laughs> I really want to play Among Us, but no one wants to play. I've, like, it was fun at the time, but like I said, I just got so ridiculously defensive when playing it with other friends. It's like, you know what? This game is becoming unhealthy for me, so I just, like, I might as well just uninstall it. That is That's very fair. intelligent of you. Yeah. Like, it was fun for the time. Like, once I'm able to spend money on games. I'm sorry? I said, this is why I don't spend money on games. I get bored of them too fast. Congress Bad Fur Day or Banjo Kazoo games. Oh, David 80s. Um, Banjo Kazoo is on my uh, checklist of what games to stream. Because it was part of a milestone that I added. What's another game that I. Hmm. Peter's Magical Adventures. And if Peter's. anyone understands that, I will uh, laugh my head off. Disney Dreamlight Valley. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was not referring to you, no. <laughs> I actually haven't been playing that because on the game pads, it's surprisingly cute. I'm getting ready for the Splatfest this weekend. I think it was Peter's Magical Adventures and Peter's uh, Color Adventures, and they came like out of a cereal box. And I was completely obsessed with them. Capcom 3 Wonders for Capcom Arcade, second for Steam, PS4 Switch, da, da, da. has two shoot em ups, which are Midnight Wonders and Chariot and Puzzle Action Game, which is called Don't Pull, they're fun. Well, considering that they're old Capcom games, I'm sure they're fun. Oh, Golden. Oh. Yes, Ryza? You should get It Takes Two. It oh, takes didn't two. that game won uh, Best Game of the Year for uh, yes. the Game Awards? It's such a beautiful game. Maybe. And, like, what's really cool about it is when you buy a copy of it, it gives you a second copy that's free to give to anyone. Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Two people. Because it, 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 you literally need two people to play it. Sometimes when I think of the title, It Takes Two, I just remember that there was a movie from Warner Brothers who made that movie. <laughs> but, I because I, I played it with a friend, because, uh, and I, I'm fu I'm hooked. It's so good. Like, people, uh, if people say this game's overrated, I'm like, no. It's just not. It's Is perfect. Is it The Last of Us 2 overrated? Last of Us 2 is... People don't have a high opinion of it, last I checked. Yeah. La Last of Us is regarded as like the game that everyone likes, and two was the one that uh, people did not apparently. After hearing, that, I don't know much about two, but I know part, I know part one was mm -hmm. fantastic. I was I was interested in playing the games, but after hearing about two, I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't really want to get invested in the story anymore. How do you feel about DC or Marvel games? Uh, Way back. Okay. I think I played a few of their games before. Like, obviously, Superman 64 is just hot garbage. That's that's nothing new to write home there. I remember the adventures of Batman and Robin, which I played on SNES. I didn't know that there was one on Genesis, and it looks a hell of a lot better. All I do know about the DC games is that the Batman Arkham games are considered high tier material. Yeah. DC Universe Online. No, I've never even heard of it, but I'm not surprised that it exists. Actually, it's I remember there was like some kind of Marvel game where you get to play as like the iconic Marvel characters and it's like it's it's an overview hack and slash. Oh. Are you talking about that uh live service yeah. thing that Square Square Enix did? Uh, no, I think it was on, um, I think it was on Xbox. It was, like, years ago, like, 2008. Oh. Oh. 
I was thinking of the um, Avengers game, which yeah, I, that one was not good. No. Like on top of the fact that apparently they they couldn't get the likeness of the character from like the actors and the actresses from the Marvel movies, but the fact that they decided the best way to literally have to, to for people to enjoy the game was just to play the same levels over and over again and literally put everything through microtransactions. One hand clapping. It's a game where the world is manipulated by your voice. I don't know if you fed the mic through and the steam simultaneously, but it might be doable. Maybe? Okay. Bro. I think it's called Ultimate Alliance. Yeah, I'm just going to silence that. Huh? <laughs> Not just uh, thinking out loud because pre-roll that is playing while a bunch of other stupid shit is going on. Percy, wake up! Sure. If it was my music coming up. No, Ooh, it wasn't Portal. you. I love Portal. Okay, yeah, okay, so I see Deadpool, Wolverine, Captain America, and I don't know who the guy on the lower left is. Can I see? Give me a second. My knowledge uh, on my knowledge on comic book uh, hero characters are hit and miss. I, I oh, know yeah. that. Yeah, I see Deadpool, I see Wolverine, Wolverine Captain, America. Captain America. Who is this? That's Human Torch. Yeah, that makes sense. Human Torch? Oh, Human Torch Human well, from Torch. the Fantastic Four. Oh, that's Marvel why Alliance I don't know it. I don't watch Fantastic Four. Marvel Alliance is a great game. Yeah, no, that's the game that I remember. It was on, a, a, like, my brother and I played it on Xbox. I think it's on a... Well, um, let me go take a look. Okay, so Marvel um... Battle Alliance. I don't know if it's on Steam, but... Thought it was. Ah, oh, they don't have it. All right, well, too bad. That's such a good game. I have Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on my PS2. Oh, this, oh, this level. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not that level yet. There's uh, the no Russian levels in this game. Oh, Jory, thank you for the donation to the GoFundMe. Yes. Please donate. Yeah, so right mm -hmm. now we're at 2390. Wait. Hey, Golden, did you ever play Nazi Zombies back in the day? No. It was really... That was a really... In my opinion, that's the best zombie game. Yeah. Okay. You can buy zombies as uh... some standalone thing, too. We're gonna hmm. play more golf for a different game. Um, I'm just gonna call it uh, as is. I might do some more um, golf streams in the future. Because, like, okay, I'm just going to spoil it for you guys. Yes, I had parts one and two. I'm making a part three because, one, I wanted to include Aeon and Bliss to begin with. And, two, there's already, like, another stage for Bouncy Castle. And we had a ton of fun with that one. Uh, Ooh, okay. But also, like, it'd just be fun to have, you know, a majority of friends are familiar with playing golf. Because we laugh our asses off at the stupidity of the games. E. Yeah. Yeah. Like I just I wanted to do it with a little bit of a twist of like spinning the wheel and everything, but now we're just we're just doing whatever the hell it is we want, but experimenting with different things. And you know, this turned out to be a really good strain. Yay. Thank Yay. you for having it. Yeah. Wait, nearly three hours. So, so Golden. Yes. Marvel Ultimate Alliance is on Steam, but it says at the request of the publisher, Marvel Ultimate Alliance is unlisted on Steam Store and will not appear in search. That's what? weird. Why? I don't Maybe know. Maybe it was pulled. Uh, because if there were quality issues with it, Steam might Steam will sometimes might remove it. a game for that reason. That's fair. That sucks. Game's cool. Or like if the game qualifies as a scam in their eyes. Well, that's why Overwatch isn't on there. Well, Blizzard. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get yeah, joke now. Yeah, Blizzard. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the joke. Yeah. Yeah. I like this song. Uh, I would play this though. I've play. I play the fuck of it on the PlayStation. Um, I'm listening to a like like you know when they make playlists. Mm -hmm. So it's just like a whole bunch of songs uh, shoved in together. So this one is um. How do I how do I check what the song is? I'm gonna hit that. Uh, oh, okay. Riley. 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 
Uh, it's natural by Imagine Dragons. Hmm. I know, like, people are calling them, like, the new Nickelback or whatever, but, like, I don't know, I just like it. It's nice to I, just I, turn your brain off and listen to music. I personally mm. don't mind Imagine Dragons, and funny enough, I do hear people call them the new Nickelback, or, as one reviewer said, uh, he literally, I don't watch him anymore, but apparently to him, every single time a band goes electropop, he quote-unquote says, they've been bitten by the Imagine Dragon! Which is just so goddamn petty. What's wrong with Electropop? Because uh, apparently to them, it means that a band's quote-unquote trying to go generic Electropop, because American Dragons to them is generic, even though American Dragons is that bad. I swear, honest. some people in regards to um, in regards to music are so close-minded. Like, oh, this is generic. Or it's like, dude, maybe they just want to play music that just sounds good to people. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the reasons why I tend to eye roll at the music reviewing community because they're so pretentiously snobby. Oh yeah, you have no, the ones who. Good. I was just gonna say you have. I'm not gonna say their names because I don't want to start any drama, even though it would be really easy to call them out. You have the ones who literally shove in their bias on camera half of the time. You have the ones who pretty much like to bitch and whine about new metal as if it's a totally new thing. You have the other ones who literally complain about hair metal, even though they're a pop-punk reviewer. And less said about this one reviewer who needs to remind everybody, hey, did you guys know I gave this album a score of 6 out of 10? And then complain about it, like, a few months later? Yeah, no, I, I really am so dumb with the music community. Oh, yeah, no, like, especially with the whole hair metal thing, because, like, okay, I get it, they got oversaturated, <laughs> and they became too radio-friendly, and some people bitch saying that. Oh, it's given metal a bad name because they slapped the name on and everything. It's like, guys, you have Metallica and the Big Four to listen to if you want to listen to other forms of metal. Like, seriously? I don't understand uh, why it's become so difficult for people just to say, I don't like this, but if someone likes it, that's fine. You don't have to. Thank the you. only time I, f the only time I feel it's an exception is if the p if the genre or the people are genuinely being malicious. And That's the only time I feel it's an except. It feels an exception. Other than that, just let people enjoy shit. Yeah, no, let people enjoy what they want. Like, okay, I've stated that I can't stand Simple Plan, but I know that some people do. I'm not going to berate or look down on those who like Simple Plan. I could joke about it, but if it gets too far, then yeah, to let just let me know and I will back the fuck off. But one of the most like underappreciated type of oh, like songs or I should say genre in this one are power ballads. Everybody complains about it because they're saying they're slow and they're cheesy and everything. Well, maybe they just want that. You know, those are the type of songs where in concerts they will grab like a torch or something and everything. everybody will light up like... It, it's, a, it's a very gorgeous moment. But they yeah. bitch about how slow and cheesy it is. It's like, just let them oh, have fun cheesy. with it. Cheesy. Yes, how dare someone like something that has been done a million times because it is successful. That is the literal it, definition of cheesy. It, it's like this It's one... something that has become a trope because it's done so often because it it's, you know, yes, it's easy to do, but at the same time that doesn't make it like any less popular. There's a reason why it's like used so many times. For example, let's say tropes. At this point you can't avoid them. You can't yeah. even avoid avoiding them. Like for example, uh, doing the opposite of what you expect has been done so many times that it in and of itself has become a trope. Yeah. Well, it's become a cliche. There's a difference between a trope and a cliche. Yeah. But, like, everything's become a cliche at that point. Like... No, I don't think everything has. There's still ways to do... Like, I know what you're getting at, though. I know the spirit of what you're getting at, though. But, like, every... I think everything, everything that can be tried has been tried, is, I think. Yeah, basically. And there's nothing wrong with that. You just have yeah. to figure out some new way of dealing with it, or to do it better. Or just have fun doing it because you like the sound of it. It, it sort of reminds me of um, this one band that I grew up listening to. They're called Panda. Not Panda Paws, but Panda. <laughs> they're a... Um, I think they're a, a Mexican or a um, South American? Let me check. But they're a band from, they're basically a Latin band. And even though I genuinely really still they're they're Mexican. They're a Mexican band from Monterrey. And 
I grew up listening to them. I love their pop punk stuff. But yet, I ended up learning that they have such a hate, a hate fandom. Apparently, what? people don't like them because oh, they ripped off a lot of punk punk bands from the two th from the early two thousands. But weren't pop punk bands technically what? ripping each other off too? What does that also say about the early eighties? <laughs> it's, like it's sort of similar to how um, he, he knew. It's sort of it kind of, it's sort of similar how like people are saying oh I metal see. music was ripping off each other, but I think even. Black Sabbath flat out said you could trace every metal riff back to Iron Man from Paranoid. Yeah. Oops. Yo, I got the ACS module. <laughs> <laughs> it's so Max, I got an urge to be gunned down in a blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> also, fun fact about Pan Except about the one band in a place that has blizzards. <laughs> you were saying Def? Also I was gonna say, fun fact about Panda, they're pretty much sort of. If I have to compare them to any pop punk band from any of uh, any of, um, of of the U.S., they are basically Blink One Eighty Two, but less, but without Tom DeLonge whining. There's no "Where are you?" There Pretty good, go. but they sound, but they literally do sound like Mexican Blink One Eighty Two. Honestly, if people are going to complain about musicians inadvertently ripping sound off of one another, what does it say? It, like that happens all the time. It's just a change. Like they want to use something that they're familiar with and bring something new to the. Vi it's okay. Pardon me if I misword this. It's kind of playing off of what Dusk is saying. When, like, if you're bringing something that has been done before, bring bringing something new to it. Mm -hmm. I think a close comparison on this one is Avenged Sevenfold. Uh, the f lead vocalist, I forgot his name. Uh, M. Shadows. M. Shadows, okay. So the way he sings, when you really think about it, is very reminiscent of James Hetfield from Metallica and a little bit of the lead vocals from Pantera. Like, he's got that yeah. aggression put into it, but he also has his own melody style going along with it. Mm-hmm. And some people call them pop because they're mainstream. What the fuck? Yeah, they're not. <laughs> yeah, this is so goddamn stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, what does... Doesn't pop just refer to popular music? Yeah, it's so. pop music. Is, it, that's literally what pop is short for. I've heard so many people hate Event Sevenfold. It's not even funny. It's stupid. It, I, and I don't get it either. It's like, okay, you don't like certain albums they did... Fine. I wasn't big fan of that one album they did where it was literally just like classic rock worship. Or the their the urge to escape on a so snowmobile. <laughs> their um, the I wasn't a fan of their urge to commit drive-bys in Siberia. <laughs> their yeah. uh, Uber Frog era, but I still think they're pretty damn good. And the fact that they're able to still continue after the death of their drummer, who pretty much was the brains of the group, well. Oh, second God, half that's of the brains. Still painful to look back at. If it, it's it is very sad, especially if you listen to the album they did afterwards. Oh. Uh, okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Aeon. Aeon is at the door, I believe. Okay. Uh, oh no, yeah, he died. <laughs> I'll say Equestria guy has left. Have you, uh, you have a good night, dude. Night, Equestria guy. Yeah. Also, I do recommend that album, but it is uh, a tough one. Unironically love Nickelback. Oh, there's some songs I like from Nickelback. Nickelback's not bad. Um, it's How just... You Remind Me. Yeah. I find it really funny how there was this whole backlash against them, and now there's a backlash against the backlash. <laughs> We're going to end up doing a backlash, the backlash. backlash of the backlash of the backlash. Because <laughs> it's so dumb. I think people just started to realize how silly it was. I, I they are say... going to be 20 years dead. And people are going to suddenly say, oh, they had such amazing music. And the rest of us will just go. Really? Took you this long? Oh, brother, mid as fuck. <laughs> Wait, what, who are we talking about? Uh, Nickelback. Nickelback. Nickelback they're has good like music. they're okay. There's nothing fantastic or like bad about them. They're just a band. Yeah, yeah I think the only I think it's because of their rise in popularity. Uh, sorry for the interruption, Def. Uh, like, no, 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 you're fine. 
I mean, the song Photograph, yeah, it was overplayed on the radio, and I can understand it drives a lot of people crazy. Yeah, but it's been, like, 20 years since they were popular on, on yeah. the radio, so get and, over it, people. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's it's, it's, like, it's become a meme. Like, I love to make it fun is. of it. Look at this graph. Like, it's funny. <laughs> no, that um, I'm fine with. Yeah. Um, the only real criticism I have with Nickelback is just... Uh, Chad, Chad Kroger. Kroger. Yeah, Chad Kroger's egotistic attitude. Like, he got his comeuppance because he was on an interview while holding a beer. Like, he was on camera. And he started saying shit about Corey Taylor, who was the frontman of um, Slipknot, Slipknot and uh, Stone Sour. Calling Stone Sour literally like Nickelback Light, even though the band's been around longer than Nickelback started. And, like, Corey Taylor just... He's just one of those musicians you don't fuck with. You don't say shit about him, or he will lash back at you, and it's an instant regret. And like, it's fully in the right to do so. Um, yeah. And he said a couple of things about his success responding back to um, Chad Kroger, ending it with, wrap yourself back up in that Hello Kitty pillow and shut up. <laughs> God, that is rich. I love that. It's just, don't ever piss off Corey Taylor. That's just the short story of it. I mean, you never piss off Corey Taylor. Period. Yeah. You realize I'm I mean, going to go a... out of my way to piss him off now. <laughs> I mean, there's a big reason why he's also called the Big Mouth. <laughs> I actually... I'm... No. Mm. Go mm. ahead, Dusk. No, my brain is doing things. <laughs> Not yeah, that's very good things. <laughs> but it is doing things. Terrible things. My brain Terrible. Does that. I, I, I things. feel like we awoke in something. Murder. <laughs> um, I do uh, like that. Oh, go ahead, Dusk. No, no, go ahead. No, I, I do like that one of the clips because there's um I forgot what the channel was called, but there's like compilations of moments from like musicians who do stuff, um and mm -hmm. one of which is just one solely dedicated to Corey Taylor. And there's a clip where he's like talking to a crowd on stage. And he's supposed to be, like, doing some kind of performance, but he's also, like, you know, he's giving speeches and such. Somebody in the background was like, play some music! And he turns around, shut your fucking mouth, douchebag! I'm talking to my friends! Oh. <laughs> but also, yeah, Loudwire. It was Loudwire who uh, had that. Yeah, Loudwire loves Corey Taylor. They literally... Li if you ever go to their... Hello. If Everything you go to their... My food arrived. Oh. Yay. Oh, if yeah, you... I had to use the bathroom really bad after I stood up. No problem, I get it. If you literally go to Loudwire, 99% of their articles are just going to be, Corey Taylor said X and Y. It's like, okay, we get it. He, he's an awesome musician. You don't need to report on everything he's doing. Clearly. Super chill, dude. Like, I think that's kind of overstated. It's, like, I think that's overstated its welcome at that point. Nothing against yeah, Corey, is. but I think they need to kind of lay off... Um, you know what, I'm not even going to finish that sentence. <laughs> you know, like, people complain about Nickelback, but you want to know which band I feel deserves more criticism Hang these on? days? Yeah. Oh, you okay? Hey, okay? Oh, yeah, you no, fucking uh, guy? No, uh, knocked something over by accident. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I thought you fell yeah. or something. Yeah, I was, I was, I was wondering what my next was. Hands are occupied because I'm because I... No problem. Um, oh yeah, I was going to mention... People complain about Nickelback, but you want to know which band I feel deserves more criticism these days, especially with how they've just kind of completely lost it these in these recent years. And what's that? Maroon Five. Oh, <laughs> I like. What have they done? They're the guys who did songs like um, "This Love." No, she I'm Will I'm Be aware of who they are. Yeah. Okay. Um. So. They started going less, like, many people tend to like their older stuff, but then after, I think, um, Maps or t or Payphone, they, they kind of just sort of became boring. Like, even, to f I think even the fans who enjoyed them are like, okay, we get it, this is just very watered-down, like, dance music you guys are doing. And that helped either that Adam Levine is kind of also the biggest douchebag in the music industry. Oh. Yeah, I think he once ended up saying that, that like, I think he ended up saying that, that Maroon 5 was the only last rock, that the last rock band ever, and everyone's like, you guys are still rock? Huh? Nah. I've never uh, been that big on Maroon 5 before. Like, 
a, a huge reason for that, and it's it's kind of playing off of like how Pete, it's coining off of how people felt with Nickelback being overplayed. Their song "This Love" was played on the radio every like every other track. Like they play "This Love," they play some other song on like a popular radio station. And then again, she said goodbye, and they did it so many times it drove my brother and I crazy. And we do hate I mean, it because of that. <laughs> I mean, it's fair. I mean, I can understand that. What was that mm-hmm. other? Band, Eat? Red Hot was it Red Hot Chili Peppers? Red Hot Chili Pepper. Peppers was like freaking yeah. everywhere, and like yeah. Like every time I turned on the radio, it was like Californication was on. California Californication. I can understand how much that can like drive people nuts. Like, okay, mm. we get it. The song is good. Please provide more variety. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Be- it's funny because they have a bunch of other good hits. Um. Give, give it, it away, away, give it away, give it away now. Suck my kiss, scar tissue, all around the world. I mean, Californication is not just the it's not just the only song they make. Jesus Christ. It does overstay its welcome. You know, it's kinda oh. like their nickel bat uh their their photograph, sorry. Oh god, yeah. Which is saying a lot <laughs> considering that song is actually good and photograph is just Don't we all want to be rock stars also a nickelback thing? Yep. Yep. I yeah, like yeah, that one. Just, I love that song. Rockstar is pretty funny. I like it. You oh, just oh, want to be big rockstar. Yeah. Oh my god, I am wearing out my voice every time I try to do that. Because <laughs> you maybe <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, no. Just, okay, I, so no. Chris, like, okay, so I did hear from Chrissy that she's not a fan of Nickelback, and she had a legit reason compared to everybody else, and that is Chad Kroger's voice sounds so constipated it's irritating to her. I love. I mean, it's not wrong. <laughs> she he does so constipated. Is that right? He does. Um, I love Chad's voice. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, but I can definitely see why people don't like it. Yeah, it depends on your taste. Yeah, you know? no, I now just imagine. And this mm-hmm. is how you remind me. The way you're saying that reminds me of. Did you watch um, uh, Monsters Inc? Yep. Yes. Yes. I'm Plus. watching Wazowski. He's <laughs> <I'm just> watching. <laughs> Mazowski, look at this photograph. <laughs> look at this photograph. <laughs> I'm always watching Wazowski. <laughs> hey, that's really good. I know a lot of, like, okay, some people are saying that Chad's voice is fine for me, and that's fine, you know, to each their own. <laughs> it's just, it's, there are just some times that it's funny to make, you know, make a... Make fun of- make a joke out of Luke. And it's not by any ill intention, it's just sometimes we it's just fun. want to say it. Yeah. Um, I think the, one of my favorite bands got like teased or something like that. I don't remember. Like, it'll probably like pop on my head at one point. Interesting. Oh yeah, that, now I remember. Hinder. Oh! Oh yeah, you did mention you didn't you were perfectly fine with Hinder despite the fact that everybody seems to have some sort of hatred towards them. Yeah, because they're like, oh, they're a hair metal band wannabe or some shit like that. It's like, okay, let them do that. And the thing or that's is... so hilariously contradicting is that they say that, oh, they're just another example of butt rock where all their music sounds the same, but with Hinder trying to sound like hair metal, don't you think that's counterintuitive of an argument? Yeah, it is. Yeah, and it's also hypocritical that they hate on Loops of an Angel because it's allegedly about cheating, and there's a reason why I say allegedly, but they love the song "Your Love" by The Outfield, which is also about cheating. Yeah. Josie's on a vacation far, far away. away. Come around and talk it over. It over. But hey, right, people love their music. They love that song, yeah. but they're gonna hate "Lips of an Angel" for the same thing. So here's why I say allegedly. If you pay attention to the bridge saying, well, my girl's in the next room, sometimes I wish she was you, sometimes I wish we never really, um, some t- uh, I guess we never really moved on. That changes the whole context of the song. It's, I don't see it as more about cheating. It sounds more like they're trying to find closure with their previous relationship because despite them ending their relationship, they probably miss each other to a degree. I found I what I was it. looking for. I was Which wondering is? why you stopped streaming. I'm sorry? Yeah, oh no, I stopped streaming to eat. Oh, oh okay. Uh, because um, I have to move my keyboard up and I need to be able to... Uh, no, you're good, you're good. Okay. Also, oh. um, what is yes, it? Um, 
Sunny V2 made a video about, literally made a video about this, why everyone hates Nickelback, and the thumbnail says um, it was, like, too popular too quickly. Hold on. Golden, have yeah. you heard this song before? I remember that. Uh, what did you just link me, Ryza? It's a, it's a, it's a music, it's a song. Into the Night uh, lyrics by Santana featuring Chad Kruger. Okay. Oh, I it's love such that a, song. It's, it's such so a good song. You know what I just realized, too? And this is something that even I didn't know until much afterwards. Uh-huh. So, even though I love Californication, there is one thing that I realized, and this is, like, something that even I didn't know until, like, it was pointed out to me. If you listen to the album, like, normally, like, let's say you buy a CD of it, you'll notice the quality sounds pretty shitty. Okay. And apparently the reason for that is because the producer of the band, Rick Rubin, who's kind of infamous for the fact that he'll work with anybody... He does this thing called Loudness War where if you want to get the best sound of the music, they'll literally make everything loud. The problem is it causes so much distortion and so much, back, I guess, background fuzziness that even people who are not uber experts in music will be like, does this sound like poor quality to you? At least that's what I've noticed. Because apparently that's, like, one of the biggest examples of, like, even non-music uh, people who know don't know much about production will be like, wow, people this is actually... People talk loud when they want to sound smart, right? Correct! <laughs> <laughs> He's so smart! And, the, and funny enough, you'd think that they would have learned from this, but they didn't, because when Metallica released Death Magnetic, which was apparently their comeback album after Saints Snare Drum... The production on that, the audio on that album sounded like it was recorded through a fucking damn garbage can. Fucking, um... On, on purpose? Like, apparently the mixing for that album was te was so terrible that people are like, you want to hear the album? Literally buy the, buy the album itself, throw out the CD, and just burn the copies of the songs that came on Guitar Hero. Because apparently when you hear the songs that were put on Guitar Hero, because apparently the entire album was put on Guitar Hero 3, the songs sound crystal fucking clear. Whereas when you buy the actual CD, it literally sounds like it's being filtered through a terrible microphone. I will. So, um, I know it's yes. off topic now, but I want to no. go back to the Chad Kroger thing because I'm listening mm -hmm. to his music right now. And okay. This might be super egotistical, but I, I don't care because I like it. Um, back when I was in high school choir, uh, we had to. I can't remember what song we sang, but we had it. it, it we had to hit like a really n low growly note, and no one else could do it in the room properly but me and one other guy. And uh, basically, we had to do a solo for it, and I ended up getting the solo because she was like, "Your inner Chad Kroger keeps popping out to every compared to, compared to his." I'm like. I love that. <laughs> Amazing. Even though I sound like, even though I sing like a fucking like cat scratcher on a chalkboard, I just like the fact I can do that. You do not sound like a cat scratcher on chalkboard. You sound fine. Nah. Bonk. Big bonk. I mean, it's sort of similar to how like my how a friend of how an old classmate of mine in element in middle in high school literally said, "You look like Omar Roger." Omar Lopez Rodriguez of the Mars Volta. Like, that's an wait, oddly uh, mouthful of a name. Who? Yeah, oh, oh, okay, so the Mars Volta has two members, two core members. Omar Lopez Rodriguez, who is a fucking badass guitar player, and their vocalist, and their vocalist, I'm not even kidding, this is the guy's name, Cedric Bixler Zavala. Did I mention they're from Texas? <laughs> Apparently the guy said the reason I look like... Oh, the reason he said I look like Omar is because both of him and Omar have big bushy hair and glasses. And we're Latino, so I took that as a compliment. Um... 
Okay, good. I thought the computer was frozen. Boiler, I have resumed the stream and it is no Russian. Oh, oh did you just. Oh, no, you said no Russian. Do not oh. weep for me, child. I have committed several war crimes in Bosnia. <laughs> Remember. Remember. So, have you played Gundam yet? I'm yes. Sorry. The Gundam oh. game is free, right? Yeah, it, it is. is. It's really fun. Brother, can you link me to it? Or is it on the Steam page? Or is there a Steam page for it? It's on Steam, yeah. Just, uh, it's, it's Gundam Evolution. By the way, here's how you know I'm a bad person. The game doesn't prompt you to do anything. Oh, well, the infamous you know one. I'm... Yeah, but this is how you know I'm a bad person. Uh. No Russian. They're dead. God, I remember this infamous moment. Yeah, you are literally next to the big bad of the series and doing yeah. an act, doing an act in airport shooting in Moscow. I remember that this thing pissed off so many people, and it pretty much made a huge big stink in the media. Even there though it was literally an option to skip it because it was yeah. controversial. Yeah, they. I think it, it was straight before. up said this game contains controversial elements. There is a mission in this game that is controversial. We are giving you the option right now at the start of the game to skip I, this mission if you I, do I, not want to play something like that. I think it's really played it anyway. It's like ah, this game is so violent. Yeah, it's literally where you get to play as the bad guy Shut for the one fuck up. It's not my <laughs> fault. It's not my fault you can't fucking read. And not to mention, they don't portray it as like, yeah, it's good. Like, no, it's horrifying. <sighs> but then again, people will find an excuse just to literally go, this is bad and problematic. It offends me. <laughs> God, I wish you were one of the people I could fucking gun down. I would do so with fucking glee. Like, congratulations, you're offended for yourself. You... Dude, like, uh, Solar, I would, like, okay, I'm saying this as a joke, so don't take this literally. It would be hilarious that you would save that kind of, like, energy for, like, okay, so I was shared a story earlier from Bliss that she got a DM <laughs> from somebody who criticized the design of her OC, like, the way the shape of the hair and the tail are. Saying, okay, and? Could you fix that? Like, uh, no. First of all, that's her choice. Second, that would take, like, almost 200 vectors to redo. 2,000. Yeah, a boatload. Yeah. I still find that so goddamn amusing that they actually Murder. literally the said that. Hey, could you, uh, fix them? Okay, so here's the thing. Like, uh, fixing them would cost a lot of money. You know, it's free. Minding your own fucking business. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Oh shit! The oh goddamn the elevator got fucked too. Well, yeah, you oh. don't want someone escaping. Well, yeah, because you're literally killing off everybody in well, the airports. Well, I mean, like, yeah, some one of the guys tossed a grenade into it. God, murder. Yep. Oh, that's cute. You got into a nice glass box for me. Here, hold this. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Uh, I know in the other versions of the game, um, in Russia, you cannot play the level at all. It is patched out of the game. Delayed. I imagine probably <laughs> <all> the <laughs> <time>. <laughs> Delayed. <laughs> Delayed. <laughs> not cancelled. Delayed. <laughs> Delayed. <Yeah. laughs> that is hysterical. It's like, again, I get it why people were upset I by imagine, this, but it's... Imagine what the fucking calls must have been like, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to make it to the fucking conference. I really don't think you understand how you're affected the team. My brother in Christ, I am literally getting shot at. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get it, no, I can see... It's like, what is that noise in the background, my man? I hear popping. Oh, let's... <laughs> they worked in the Americas, it would be like, that's not a valid excuse to not come into work for docking your pay. You would, no, you would, <laughs> no, they wouldn't dock your pay, they'd be like, we will accept the fact that you are late, but understanding that you are American, you are required to use your gun to fight your way back to work. Understood. <laughs> uh, I you said Americas. Wrong. Oh, you said Americas. Yeah. You're not using it. <laughs> You're required to use paid time off to cover this absence. Yeah. That's an Amazon thing. <laughs> That would so be an Amazon thing. 
Also, apparently, there's a Steam sale for a bunch of hack and slashes. There's also a, there's a Steam sale for a lot right now, actually. Actually, now that you oh. mention it, Solar, I got Metal Gear Rising. Yeah. And also, I saw that you gave me inscription. I wanted to thank you for that. Solar. Yeah, you should definitely fucking stream it at some point because I feel like you would enjoy it a lot. I Dude, totally like, will. A part of me, part of mm. me, if I say this. I think it would be hilarious if, like, Josh was brought in because he always references Metal Gear Rising, or at least the Nano Machines. Uh, no, Metal Gear Rising is fucking great. It is a it is a masterpiece. Honestly, it's a masterpiece that's almost too short. <laughs> because just going through the game, you can get through it pretty easily in, like, four, five, maybe six hours. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's It's really short, yeah. Uh, I'm feeling I mean, you can go and do like all the extra content and shit, because I know I did, because I couldn't fucking get enough of it. But, mm. Oh no, oh, I was just saying I'm getting a little dehydrated. I'm gonna, gonna <clears throat> get myself some more water. I thought you just made a vomit noise. I, no, I don't. No, I this is my displeased. Yeah, this is my displeased noise. Also, someone is asking Aeon uh, yes. if you stream. Uh, I've been thinking about it pretty heavily. Twitch streaming. Yeah. So, so yeah, as out, uh, soon as... You know, go follow him on Twitter, and he will let you know when he starts streaming. His, uh... <laughs> yes. Solar, have you checked out Omega Strikers yet? Yeah. What? I'm getting back into gaming, so I might uh, Omega Strikers. Yeah, mm, nope. that'd be fun. It's pretty cool. Um, hold on, I was... Oh, this ending. Send the Steam page link. You thought you was being slick, huh? Yeah. No, they they knew you were. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Def, let the moment play out. It's better than describing it while it's happening. Oh shit! Sorry. Oh yeah, Ma magical star brings a point. If I bring Josh in, I have to withhold myself from cursing. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it doesn't do cursing. He he and Doctor Wolf no. can't stand it when people cuss. No, 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 Goldie, you got it wrong. Josh doesn't care if you curse around him. Just he won't do it. All right. So, like his his deal is just mainly. Don't curse on his stuff. Don't curse on his streams. He doesn't really give a fuck if you do it around him. Doc, you don't curse around him at all. That's yeah. he just doesn't yeah. like it. Yeah, no, I know about Doc. All right. Note to self: I can't be around Doctor Wolf, considering I swear too much. It's it's a challenge, <laughs> and it it was it was also a challenge when I was first talking to a flitter Chris because she can't stand it when people are cussing in front of her. Yeah, oh, she will also freak out. Wait, she doesn't? Oh, channel. Yeah, she doesn't yes. like cursing, apparently. Oh, I feel like an asshole now. Well, all oh. the, okay, she's she's much more forgiving. I think that she's, um, I, I'm trying to find the right term without sounding insulting. She's sensitive but understands that it happens. Yeah, yeah. there we go. <laughs> okay. We love you, Flitter. Yes. Yeah, we Chris, you're a good awesome. girl. I have a Slurpee. Yeah, Slurpee bastard. Nice. It's cranberry limeade. I Bitch. want that. But yeah, so <laughs> Omega Strikers is kind of like Rocket League meets uh, Smash, kind of. You have a very loose description of both of those games. It's I, I don't I don't know how else to describe it, but that. Describing what now? It, it <laughs> it's literally top down weeaboo soccer. Like I, I I don't see the connection to either game here. I mean, car soccer, Rocket League, people soccer. But, like, the whole gimmick, like I said, you score points, you can uh, knock the opponent out of the ring and shit like that. Are you doing it again? It's just not super crazy. It might be one <laughs> off, but it would be fine. Are you rushing again? So, I don't know if it's been done yet, but I'm actually surprised nobody has uh, commissioned... Any artist to draw Solar as Senator Armstrong, just so he could say "Nano Machines, my son." Dude, a lot of people. That's would draw not the Solar. fucking line, you goddamn insult. <laughs> I don't know the game. I'm sorry. Then don't fucking start quoting it. Yeah. <laughs> but you... what's the line? Do not. Uh, the line is "Nano Machines, son." Nano machine. He doesn't <laughs> say fucking my son like he's some kind of fucking Catholic preacher that wears a fucking cowboy <laughs> shirt to church. Senator. <laughs> Father Senator. <laughs> Father Senator. Funny thing is if a family is Catholic. Senator so Daddy. Senator Daddy. Father <laughs> Daddy. Uh, what the hell is Anamusha? 
Oh, Anamusha. Oni. Anam yeah. Oh, Oni Musha. Oh, Oni is a samurai, a samurai type of game. Huh. Really, with a name like Oni? Is it a hack and slash? Let me check. Let me. Because it I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's a. Um, it's eight bucks right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like it I says, said, Steam has like a fucking huge sale going on for like a bunch of hack and slash games yeah, and games it, in that like genre. It's a supernatural. It's a supernat. It's a um. It's a game involving historic figures that shape Japan's history, but with a little bit of a supernatural twist to it. And Wait. it is a combat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, go ahead. Sorry. It's a it's an action adventure game, but it's a combination of third person hack and slash with puzzle elements. Was okay. it like during the Sengoku era? I'm d assuming it's Japan. Yeah, it's Japan. Yeah. Um, I think it just takes place in multiple, you know, historical oh. moments in Japan. Yes, well, There's... you can't have, like, a thousand-year gaps between two characters. Yeah, it says right here, uh, the first game, Warlords, takes place in the Sengoku period. Hold you. There's a game called Sa Save Daddy Trump 3, Rise of Evil. I, I hate, I hate I Rise of Evil. Rise of Evil. Rise of Evil. <laughs> Oh, Rise of Evil. I want to see Evil Ryza now. No. That's just normal nice fucking Ryza. <sighs> you know what would be really cool to have on Steam? Like, I'm probably mm -hmm. just thinking too big. Gears, huh. of, Gears of War on Steam. That's um, on Xbox. That's probably, it's probably not too it's far probably, off, honestly. Isn't Metal Gear Solid 5 on PC? Yeah, it is. It probably is. I mean, like, if Halo is on PC, then I feel like Gears of War probably is not going to be too far off. Oh, yeah, I Gears, would be so only Gears 1, because I checked cause when I was building my rig to, because I grew up with Gears as well. And here's the, and I would love to play it on PC, probably with a gamepad, because it's a third-person shooter. And third-person shooters are just better with controller. What Don't at me. Golden? But no, I'd love to play that with you, Goldie, or just in general. Oh yeah, no, this that would be absolutely fun to stream. That could be like another major like, because I think Years of War, at least the, like, I think the first game has like a four-player co-op in it. I, the I... first game is on PC. Oh, it's on PC. There is, yeah, the only one that ever made it to PC so far was the uh, first one. Okay, so far I see Gears Five. Um, Gears Tactics, Gears 5, Hive Busters. Hmm. Well, I meant, I meant Steam, but, okay. <clears throat> and, uh... Oh yeah, Shadow Warrior 2 existed. We're going down swinging. A loaded god, come up, let's cock it and pull it. Yeah. Yeah, I had to listen to figure that those lyrics out because I never found them out, so I sat down. Yeah, so that's uh, yeah, it's a loaded god complex. Cock it and pull it. Pull it. I, I don't think a lot of people knew those lyrics until you have, have to look them up. Well, that's the thing when it comes to a lot of songs. Sometimes they sound very mumbly. Yeah. They're not mumbly. It's just like you'll listen to it for years and you won't realize that you don't actually know what the lyrics are. Yeah. It's not a bad song. What's not a bad song? Let's see, there's going to be another Jackbox. How many Jackbox? Like, Jesus. Too many. It's like one new one every year, isn't it? It's something like that. Uh, Nickel, we were referencing um, that Fall Out Boy song. Um, Sugar, we're going down. Going down, down. Down, down. Let's see. Sometimes a glass of cold water is just nice enough. I've been saying that for like years. E. <laughs> Sorry, I'll shut up. 
You're fucked. Uh, Hydrate, fu motherfucker! <sighs> I'll just go ahead and, uh... I'll just post this in the chat. Where is it? Oh. With it Discord. Won't... There we Trickle. go! Drink Squidward. water! Squidward. SpongeBob! I'm Mr. gonna bonk you, Ryza! I should kick, I should your, kick fucking your fucking ass. ass! Oh, hey, Gears 5 is on this theme. Yeah, it is. Like, I, I meant, like, the original Gears games. The well, good I'm... ones. <laughs> yeah. I liked Gears 5. I thought it was fun. That's because you're basic. Yeah. Honestly, I can't think of very many series that actually did well, like, by their fifth game. I think the one exception was actually Metal Gear Solid Five, Like, because that one was, like, critically fucking acclaimed. The also, fifth Call, of Duty, Call of Duty game was World at War, I think. Ah, uh, okay. yeah, World at War was actually pretty fucking, was pretty good, especially for the time when it came out. It had, like, a lot of fucking shit that people liked. I was gonna make a joke and say Smash Brothers Ultimate. I guess that counts. Guns and Roses is another classic. Bon Jovi. Mario Party 5. I don't even remember any of the mini games in Mario Party 5. I remember some of them, but not. Every single one, but See, that, the ones that are This video game is good. completely unrealistic. You're going through a residential area and none of the car horns are going off. None of the car alarms went off. Oh. Solo, you're yeah. being asked about Final Fantasy games. Sick. I literally never touched Final uh, Fantasy in my life. No. Uh, I've actually had sex. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! I'm laughing, oh. but I play Final Fantasy games. <laughs> The jokes write themselves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just. So, are you Russian or American at this the moment, Aeon? Uh, He's playing uh, on Army Rangers. Mm. Um, Golden, is there any way to stream what Aeon is streaming, or what do you mean? Possibly. Like for the people who are still listening to us, because you haven't closed the stream yet. Oh yeah, no. Sometimes I make these uh, moments of post shows and just like. Have a little chat. Like, I've done one of these, but, like, a few times before. No, yeah, no worries. I just noticed it's been asked in the chat. <clears throat> but, yeah. Um, Final Fantasy's cool. What I about like Twisted Metal? Oh. oh, Twisted Metal. God, that's a name I haven't heard in ages. <laughs> Second one, apparently, is still good. I like Black, even though apparently developers weren't too keen on it. <laughs> Super one. Up goes the weasel. <laughs> <laughs> I boopled the Russian soldier with my gun. Oh no! Oh dear! Aggressive I think booping. Aeon knows about this. Aggressive booping. <laughs> so Punches you in the throat romantically. Shoots when... you in the face romantically. <laughs> Taco to go. Uh, Burger Town. That when, uh, is an entire town of burgers. The most neats. American thing I've ever heard. Yep. And neats. David, 80s, you're allowed to answer to solar. It's fine. <laughs> what? Uh, what? What do you mean fucking answer to me? What are you like a fucking... What are you like a feudal peasant? <laughs> <laughs> what master do you serve? <laughs> what master am I supposed to say? Jesus? You're Wait, from you're Earth? from Earth? No, I'm not from Earth. I'm from Missouri. That's on Earth, dipshit. I love that line. So you're from Earth? Not from Missouri. Yeah, that's on Earth, dipshit. What are you <laughs> hassling us for? <laughs> that, honestly, that oh. moment was fantastic. Where is Gormora? I'll do you one better. Who is Gormora? I'll, I'll do, do you, you one, one, better. one better. Why, Why is Gormora? Is Gormora? <laughs> uh. You shoot my guy, I'll shoot yours. Do it, Flint. I can take it. N no, he can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> My first was but actually a lines, threesome at 18. What? I... Oh, because Solar was saying that he doesn't play Final Fantasy, made a virgin comment, and this guy has to <laughs> disprove that 
Um, it's a joke, dude. It. Don't take it personal. Yeah. It's a My joke. First Don't worry. Some was actually at eighteen, dude. <laughs> okay, but I, buddy. Sure, but I, sure. I, 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 to be fair, I already proved it before he disproved it. So does that cancel it out? No. I mean, just, just, okay. This is you... like it, this is like the fucking this is like the virgin or a guy that has fucking had sex version of the I'm a f what did you say to me? I'm a fucking Navy SEAL that has over three hundred confirmed. <laughs> yeah. kids. <laughs> I've conducted numerous secret raids on Al Qaeda. Like, oh my god, dude. Yeah, um, have little a side note to you. Um, oh, have a good night, Kevatina. Yeah. Have a nice um, night, Kevatina. <laughs> note to the wise, word of wisdom to the wise. Uh, if you have to brag about how much sex you have had, no one That's is not really a good you. talking point. I'm just, yeah, I'm just no, saying. No one's gonna take you seriously. Yeah, I've had so much sex, guys. You wouldn't believe the amount of sex that I've had. It's like, okay, yeah. uh, uh, long story short, David 80s, don't take it too personal. Yeah, yeah. we teach yeah. people. Do take this it personal. Do. Take offense. I want you to take offense to this. I want you to get <laughs> angry. <God damn> it. <laughs> get yeah. angry. Feel an emotion. Get yeah. anal about it. I mean, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Why did they say tango instead of target? Um, phonetic I alphabet. I leave things, take it things too seriously to Josh's car. Dude, I've taken shit seriously before I even discover that series of his. Like, does FOB Equestria even, like, is it even active anymore? <laughs> See, that's a good question. <laughs> Which website? website? Yeah. I mean, technically it is, but yeah, his, his upload schedule is kind of, like, sporadic nowadays because he's balancing a lot more work-life stuff, which, I mean, good on him for doing that and, like, Absolutely. getting his priorities straight, but yeah, FOV yeah. Equestria is kind of, like, it, it's kind of sporadic nowadays with, with how often he uploads. I, I just thought he was done with it after, the last one that uh, they put up was ten months ago. Yeah. It's, it's I, like, th things have changed over time, but, I mean, the man is, the dude is 30 years old now, and he's married. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was and under the impression I, he was just done with it. No, yeah, considering there's, there was... there's a lot of balance. Yeah, I mean, considering the res response he had towards the the uh, M the Gen Five movie, I kind of figured he was already done with the we with don't that need movie to go there. I'm mean, not going. I'm not going there. I just kind of. Um, I didn't figure he was done with the community. The vibe I got was just he wasn't going to bother with G Five, which I mean, fair enough. Yeah, I figured that would have been the thing. Oh, I like that one by Confucius. Mm. Oh. I said, that's... Which one was it again? Perfectly fine. I'm just when gonna, you like, go on a journey whatever. of revenge, uh, dig two graves first. Ah, yeah, yeah, I like that one. Oh. It's been, a, it's been a saying that's been tossed around a lot in video games. Um, I forget where I actually heard it from the first time. But I, I, I do remember that, like, somebody was basically on the wrong end of a gun, and they were basically saying, like, ah, you know what they say about revenge. You, oh, wait, it was actually this game. It was, it was fucking General Shepard. Yeah. Because, because when he's on the fucking, because, like, like, at the end of the game, spoiler, not spoiler, this game's, like, what, like, 15 years old, all right? If you 10. don't fucking know how this game. If you don't know, like, 13. Yeah, so if you don't know how this game ends already, that's kind of on you. But anyways, like, at the end of the fucking game, when he's, like, when he, like, after you crash his helicopter, and, like, you're going to fucking hunt him down, he's like, <laughs> he's like, you know what they say about revenge? You better dig two graves. No, you know, I don't uh, remember saying that. he fucking stabs you with your own knife. It, it's yeah. like, you, ha you have to, like, wait, because, like, he'll kind of cycle through quotes if you don't immediately try to knife him. Oh, you yeah, have to, like... Oh, so it's like when you have the knife and you just wait? Yeah, you can just like wait towards the end and he'll just kind of like go through a bunch of different quotes. And that was one of them. That sounds healthy. Yeah. Mmm. I need to capture the burger town. Capture the burger town. It is now a matter of national security that I need to ki I need to kill the Russians that have invaded the burger town. Can I have another five of an extra shake? 
<laughs> no, the ice cream machine is broken. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> also, I David, have had two 80s, David 80s, yes, I still have Mr. Skull lying around somewhere in my apartment. Mr. Mr. Skull. Mr. Skull. No. Mr. Skull. You have a skull? Stand by, I need to liberate these cheeseburgers from the communist I know Anna has a skull. Why do you have a skull, Golma? Can't I get a number six? Okay, I don't know if you know this, but everybody has a skull. It's inside their head. Yeah, really. <laughs> I do? The joke. Oh my Bush. god. Suppose that is true. Wolfhead thumbnails. No. Do you wanna you wanna you wanna have a fucking uh you wanna have something that'll give you not really existential dread, but it's just something that you think about? Uh -huh. what? Your nipples are older than your teeth. My nipples are You do have true. a point. Yeah Everyone here has been in contact with wait, I can't say that on Switch. <laughs> nah. I don't get it. What do you Wait, mean I'm gonna get banned on Twitch? I'm using scientific anatomical terms. <laughs> wow. Burger. The trees are not flapping in the wind, what? but the flags are. This is America. All flags must flap. Yeah, no, this is actually true. Look at the moon flag. It's flappy. It's flappy. not actually flappy. It's actually held out by a wire, and they did that just so it, it wouldn't like close up in the vacuum of space. I think but I'm more in confused. Pictures, it is mistaken for that, and it did cause a lot of confusion with some people. Isn't I'm the flag on the moon like basically like pretty much all white now because like it's been exposed radiation. to nothing but sun radiation for like? Yeah, so the is the picture that's up on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> it's just all white. I think I'm more confused as of why does this burger to have like 20 flags on it? Because it's America. This America is It's six oh, flags. Yeah, because the thing is, I'm worried. Like, it would be fine in the winter down there because you guys don't actually have real winter mm, usually. No, nah, it's it's one of those. It is okay. Yeah, it's a lot cooler, but it is not. It is not warm enough to go in water. I'll put it that way. Oh, I was okay, talking so about like the six flags with like roller coasters because I wouldn't well, want to get right into one of those. Coasters in, like, and experiencing theme park rules may seem like a spring or summer activity. Six Flags over Texas is packing weekends in January and February with fun. Okay, so it is open the winter. Yeah, because here's the thing. You don't want it to be too hot either. Can you imagine like getting into your car was bad enough, Aeon? Can you imagine getting onto a metal ride? Honestly, God. that's kind of a valid point, because you ever go to a fucking theme park and that shit is and you're just like baking under the fucking sun yeah, all day? No. The Texas uh, summer is like northern winter. It's the season where you just lock up inside and turn the climate control on. Okay, yeah. So then, yeah, makes like, sense. Like, going in the, in the winter actually no, might no, no, be they, the they play. open in the winter, though, because I think you're assuming that because the summers are hot, that our winters aren't cold. And th the fallacious assumption here is that we still have, like, low-end days where it may not be freezing, but do you want to... Like, oh yeah, yeah, sorry, we, we're not talking about the water park anymore. I'm used to thinking of Six Flags as a water park. Sorry. Yeah, Six Flags isn't a water park, it's more like a theme park. Okay, yeah, never mind then. Hey, so that You're Raging fine. Waters? Uh, that's a good question. I think it is Raging Waters, Six Flags and Raging Waters. Wait, what's no, what's wait. going on? <sighs> no, wait. No, just... no, Six... Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, no, it was because Raging Waters, I think, had um, a connection with Six Flags, like, side by side. Oh, you're I mean, thinking of Hurricane Harbor. Hurricane yeah, cause Harbor. I'm looking, yeah, because I'm looking at the at the website for Six Flags, and it's, yeah, like, I'm seeing a bunch of holiday shit, like, in the, on the calendar, but it's not like, oh, this is a public holiday and we're closed. It's more like, oh, yeah, that everything is going to be holiday-themed. So the park that is does not obviously going to be open. At all. All right. I think it's time I wrap up the stream. Yeah, thank you guys for sticking around and watch us talk our asses off. Um, e. I'll see what happens uh, sometime next week, given my work schedule and how 
dramatically changed it is. Uh, but yeah, but thank you for sticking around. And uh, thank you for those who donated to the GoFundMe. Um, I hope that the car gets fixed and all that shit. I'm so exhausted talking about it. I'll yeah. see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs> Have a wonderful night, everyone. Yep. Right, have a nice See y'all. Enjoy y'all. See you next time.